Hello Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is using the um, Daisy Lane, the small Daisy and it's also using the dies from Band Oh my god Dies, dies, dies. I didn't buy the stamp set for this, I know that. I've just got the dies. Because I didn't like, there you are, detail bands. And I have them dies there. Oh, how can I get you to see that? There. I think they're gorgeous. In fact, let me get them out. So yes, I really like these. So we're using that one today. Oh, I've got my... What are they from? Free as a bird set on the other side. Now I've got that many dies, I'm having to double up my wallets. So this one here was just an um, insert of another die I had, which was my own. But these arrived, so I am using this one. The emboss bit is my own embossing folder, Daris, Daris, and it's just like a diamond one. Uh, Stampin' Up used to do one, Tufted I think it's called. Um, I don't know if they still do it. And obviously the daisy stamps and the flowers have come from, the flowers, the leaves, have come from the leaf punch. So... To start off, everything's cut out. All we've literally got to do is the daisies and then stick it all together. So, let's put that up there. Put that there and... Oh, right, you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and folded in half piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go on the inside. I am using Blackberry Bliss and this measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go on the outside. I need a piece of white, a bit of this will do, for the daisies. I've got a scrap of old olive, might as well do them now. And pray that I can get three leaves out of this. Because I've got no more. Yeah. Was it three? That was four. We'll do with three. And I've also cut an oval which is in with these dies to go in there to stamp I am going to stamp uh, birthday wishes from butterfly wishes and I am going to stamp that die uh, stamp birthday wishes in there so let's do the daisies first I've got glue all over my fingers right the daisies I punched the bottom daisy in Blackberry Bliss and the top daisy in Rich Raspberry. So, with Rich Raspberry, we will stamp three of these. And I have done them so that they're straight up so that they line out with the punch. Because the punch, if you notice, punches out with the petals north and south. So I have stamped that way. Right, with Blackberry Bliss. 
we need three of these. So one, two, three. Have you noticed the rich raspberry is actually darker than blackberry bliss? Odd. Right, and while we've got blackberry bliss, we will stamp out our sentiment and just pop birthday wishes on there. That's not very straight. Let's do another one because I did cut two. That's better. So I'm going to have that one, not that one. Right. We'll have punch. We will punch out these daisies. Just line them up. Ah. Punch them all out. Easier said than done, this punch is really stiff. It is so hot here today, I'm melting. If it's a really good day to film, not. I would put my fan on, but I don't want you to be listening to that buzzing noise it makes. Come on. Right, get rid of that. And now, I have to work out which one's which. Right, there are the three. So, as they're darker, the rich raspberry are darker, I am going to stick them to the bottom. And put the black root list to the top. Just gives it a two turn effect. No. Doesn't want to go. Right. That's better. Two. And. Three. Now we have our flowers done. Oh no, I need that. So, we've got our flowers, got our leaves, got our sentiment. Let me stick that on. Here. Glue on my thumb. And we just need to stick it together. This is one quick card. Oh, I'll tell you what we haven't done. Stick this down, we'll do it in a minute. Then let's stamp the inside of our card. And I have got 
the sentiment from everything is rosy and I've got time to celebrate all the lovely things in life starting with you so and we're going to stamp that in Blackberry Bliss Well, stick that in. Oh. This is card number five today. Filming. I've got one more to do, and then that's it. Right. Ah, no. Guess what I've done. Stuck that on and in each trimming. So. That's alright. I'll just stick the middle on. And trim the edges. So I'll stick that in the middle of the card and then paper snips and snip that down snip that down and then just pop a bit of glue Rescued. Right, the daisies with bone folder, and I'm just flicking gently. You don't want to rip them now, do you? Going to pop one there. to put one there and one there. Now while I remember let me see if I can get it up. This idea come from Pinterest and if I can find it again I will tell you who it was it video by wow nicole creations on youtube so that's who it was where this idea came from i knew i was meant to tell you that Right, with the leaves, all I've done was fold them in half. And just stuck them underneath. I'll have to find some more old olive. I don't think I've got any more scraps. Another one up there. Down there. Do need another one for there. But I should look for one off off camera. And before I photograph it, I'll see if I can 
put another leaf on it. So, stamp, glue the daisy down, but we want to be able to see the word birthday. And glue the leaf down. Right, that's that bit done. No wonder I'm always covered in glue. Now it's just for the gems. Right, I have got these gems. But, oh, I have got three big ones, so I am going to cover the three big ones. I'm going to pop in the... And I'm also going to do, this is quite pretty, they've got sparkly bits in them, um, three gold gems, so there's one of them, one of them, and one of these. mixture of gems so there we have it I hope you like my card if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell button you'll be notified of any more videos I upload usually on Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon